Hello there. You're welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we will look at how to publish an Expo React Native application to Expo and consider some benefits. This should be a very short video, so let's get started. So why would you publish your application to Expo? If you are familiar with how to run Expo applications, you know that you start a server on your PC and that makes it possible to run your application on your emulator or your mobile device. But if you turn off your PC or stop the Expo server, you can't access the application or share it with anyone who isn't on your network. So publishing your project to Expo will make sure that it is available at a permanent URL which will make it easier to run the application and also share it to people you might be collaborating on the project with. In this demonstration, we are going to use a to-do app that we created in the past video. I will link it up here and also in the description below so you can check it out. So the first thing we need to do is to set up an Expo account and integrate it into our workflow. If you haven't done so already, you can check out this video that I will link up here and also in the description below. We looked at how to set up an Expo account and integrate it into our workflow. So once we've done that, we need to go into our app.json file and configure it. So we open our project in the code editor and enter the app.json file. So in the app.json file, we make sure that our app has a name. Now we can make it a little nicer. Also, our application needs a slug. This is a friendly URL name that will be used for publishing our application. Also, we need to add a privacy property to our application. This privacy can be hidden, public, or unlisted. If we make it public, it will be accessible to anyone at all. So I'll go ahead to make mine public. Now the next property we add is a description. Now this will take a short description about what the application is doing. Mine is just keeping track of to-dos, so I'll put that there. Once we have this property set up, we can go ahead to publish it. So let's go back to the command line. Remember, you have to save it first. So back on the command line, we will publish our application by running Expo Publish. Now, after the publishing has completed, we are provided with a link that we can use to access our project. So we can copy our link and visit it in the browser. Now this link can be shared as well to people that you want to access the project. Now once the application is open, we see that our description is here and we are provided with a QR code to scan the application. Now let's try testing it on our emulator. To test the application, you can just use the link that we copied or scan the QR code. But we make use of the link that we copied. Now, once we've copied our link to the clipboard, we can visit the Expo app. Now, in the Expo app, we can see at the top open from clipboard. Once we are brought to the page, we can open the project using Expo. So we can see that our application is working and this can be accessed by anyone at all that we want to access the application. Note that for a normal Android device, you can just go ahead to scan the QR code here to open the application without going through the website. So what if you perform an update? Now if you make any changes, 
you just have to save and run expo publish once again. Once you do that, the link will be updated to match the current state of your application. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe and share and I will see you in the next episode.